Sex determination in honeybee is actually very different from the humans. How? Let's see. So, if we talk about honeybee, ki baat kare, so in honeybee, let's see. One honeybee. Honeybee, how many types of honeybee can be present in a beehive? Mein type ke honey bee present hote so, they could be of three types. First one is queen. The work of queen is only to reproduce and lay eggs. She is the only one who can reproduce in the beehive. One beehive will have only one queen. Remember that, right? So it is female. Next one is worker bees. These are non-fertile females. They cannot reproduce, but they are female, right? Next one is drones. These are males. They are formed from unfertilized egg. Unfertilized egg. How we will see further. So, here the two females are, they both are diploid. That means 2N. If we talk about male, they are haploid. So, this is the case. Now, let's see that how we can determine the sex in them. And what is the procedure for sex determination in honeybee? If we talk about females and males, as I've told you that these, they are diploid and they are haploid, right? They have 32 chromosomes, they have 16. Now, why a process of meiosis? Remember, here the process which is taking place for the formation of gamete in the female is meiosis. Meiosis and if we talk about in males, then from the process of mitosis, from the process of mitosis, it will form the gametes. Okay, so once the meiosis will take place, which is the reductional division, that means the gamete form will have two gametes having 16 chromosomes like this. As male is dividing its gamete by the process of mitosis, which is the equational division, that means the gamete will have 16 chromosome only. So if this egg remain unfertilized, or we can say by the process of parthenogenesis, by the process of parthenogenesis, that means no fusion of male or female gametes, then there will be formation of drones or we can say males, which are haploid, right? And if there is process of fusion, or we can say the fertilization will take place, then there will be production of female worker bees, which are diploid in nature. These are diploid in nature and they are result of fertilization. This is really important again from exam point of view. Unfertilized egg will lead to the formation of drones which are sterile and they are haploid. So like this way, it is the sex determination in honeybee due to which the drones do not have father, neither they have son. Please remember this line really carefully that drones which are formed which are haploid in nature and they are formed by the means of parthenogenesis, they do not have father. They do not have father, neither they have son. Nahi father in ke paas hota hai, nahi son hota hai. But what they have? They have grandson and grandfather. Due to this type of sex determination, they have grandson and grandfather, but unpe father or son nahi hote. This statement has been asked in the NEET exam previously. So please remember that that drones which are haploid in nature do not have father, neither have son, but they have grandson and grandfather. If you proceed further, that how that they are not formed by the process of fertilization, that's why they don't are having father. They are only having mother, right? So like this way, and here there is one beautiful wasp which is roaming here.